This is easily the best golf that I've ever seen Ashley play. Stripe show. Absolute stripe show. Tiny human versus tiny mattress. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome. I guess we can do this park. There's no sense of moving. That was a, uh, that was pretty harsh for the uh, transmission right there, but all right, folks, welcome back. It is New Year's Eve and we are having a truly epic day. I think this is our fifth trip back and forth. Yes. We got a bunch of loads and for the- And in the last uh, video, we said if we get like 2,000 likes, if you guys want to see like the house tour and what we fill the house out with, we'll show you that. And we got like 3,000 likes in the first 24 hours. Yeah, so. that was crazy. So uh, we're definitely gonna show you some of that, but we also are going to play golf in today's yes. video. We're gonna head out to the golf course tomorrow because it's already too late today. We're gonna head out to the course tomorrow and do our what's in the bag 2021 edition because yep. it'll be the next year tomorrow. Yep, my math is correct there. <laughs> happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year to everybody who uh, is watching this. But uh, yeah, we're going to play a few holes, do a what's in the bag. But today's big mission, besides the uh, moving stuff, yes. we are going to Ollie's Bargain Market or Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Outlet. One of those. I don't know, but we are buying the world's cheapest memory foam mattress. We figured that would be a fun uh, first home tour yeah. style video. I don't know. But we're going to unbox that, give you guys a review of that, see if it's a good deal. But. We are also, oh, I already said that, we're going to do the what's in the bag tomorrow, yeah. but I don't know what we're doing. We'll, we'll meet you there. Well, first we're dropping off that, and then we'll yeah, meet you at Yeah, I don't think Ollie's. the mattress will fit in there. No. <laughs> she knows what we're doing more than I do, yeah, but uh, meet you at yeah, we'll meet you at Ollie's. <laughs> oh, no, I turned the car off. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, here we go. This is what we came for. We ordered a mattress online, but it's not gonna be here for a few days because of the holidays and everything. And uh, you think it usually takes like a day for it to like, fully inflate not inflate but you know what I mean expand come to life yeah so this will be like perfect for a guest room mm -hmm. yeah. there we go well they got a fishing section let's go check that out <laughs> oh, probably don't need to carry this over there but well, you're gonna still bringing the mattress with us <laughs> they got some golf clubs <laughs> that's crazy warrior golf clubs guys comment below we can do a Ollie's bargain market golf challenge looks like they have an iron some kind of hybrid those are 20 bucks Need your scissors. <laughs> Ashley, you had a higher GPA than me. That was amazing. I would help, but this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Tiny human versus tiny mattress. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got another one. You gotta catch up with me. Looking like milk toast. Yeah, that, that's hopefully inflates. Yeah. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. That was our super exciting New Year's Eve. We figured out that the uh, mattress needs 24 hours to inflate fully, so we'll give you an update on that. But we're out at the golf course. We're gonna do a little mini what's in the bag, seeing that it's the last day of the year now it is the first day of the yeah. year so we'll see how it progresses sure. throughout the year yeah. but uh we're gonna play a little alternate shot i'm going up first and the driver get that got the tiger head cover for the uh, tailor-made m4 we picked this up at a yard sale spent uh 80 on this it's got a um, 10 side blue shaft uh stiff flex so it's a pretty good uh, setup for me 9.5 uh, degrees loft and I have it cranked down a little bit and it's a good thing because it's a little windy today But first hole is about 260 yards So we should be able to put it pretty close to the green and then Ashley will uh, follow up there with some sort of wedge or With some sort of wedge probably a square strike probably. hint hint <laughs> uh, I didn't hit that one, but it's a good thing because we are even with the green and I uh, don't have the easiest of shots yep. What are you going with? Of course, the square strike. <laughs> square strike. She has the black ones. You'll see the green ones here in a uh, second, but this is not not an easy shot. We did not get rewarded. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're gonna have a putt for birdie. Oh, I thought that was gonna roll a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I thought that bad. was gonna break to the left, but that little stake right there, we should have moved. That's my bad. We got a birdie putt with the uh, flea market special, the McNeely original. We cannot find anything about this online, and I don't know why it works, but for me, it works. It works, but uh, let's see if we can't knock it in here and prove that statement to be true. <laughs> Even par through one. Next hole is at par three, 133 yards. I don't know if we mentioned we're playing from my tees. John's up next. He's going with the 45 degree square strike. Oh, 
Well, the wind picked up there and we switched to the nine iron and I'm glad that we did. We got about 15 feet left. There's no way that the square strike would have made it there. My uh, nine irons, I play pitching wedge through six irons in the Mizuno MP67s with the Aldi Law NV shaft, the uh, stiff flex, and uh, Ashley's got two, oh, ball. two ball putter. We got that. The, like the last mystery yeah, box. Yeah, the mystery box that we bought. And then we bought these at an auction. So I think we got them for like $45. It was a pretty good deal, but let's see if Ashley can convert. I didn't convert last time, but Ashley's the world's greatest putter. Let's see what she can do. Oh, that needs to go. That was dead center. Yeah. We didn't have time to warm up or else you know that the world's greatest putter would sink that. <laughs> but uh, that is my putt, so Ashley is teeing off on the next hole, a par five. All right, the next group is letting us play through. We've uh, met these people before, they're super nice, but oh. Ashley's got the uh, Cobra Speed LD offset. Got this in that same mystery box as we got your putter. That was a good deal. Let's uh, see what she can do. Par five, got a little bit of a dog leg to the left, but let's see if Ashley can put us in a good spot. That would have carried the bunker for sure. <laughs> that was crushed. That was so straight too. Yeah, oh, okay. straight as an arrow. That was absolutely piped right down the middle of the fairway with the gallery. Yeah. Ashley's game is definitely improving, but we got a long way in. I'm just gonna go with the three wood and uh, yeah, I'll show you about it in a second. <laughs> Everybody's staring at me. Well, that was a professional chunk right there. Ashley definitely uh, performed better under the uh, pressure than I did. <laughs> and then we're going with Ashley's favorite club yes. right now, the uh, King Cobra F8. Yep. Three, four wood, we got it cranked to 20 degrees. Let's see if you can uh, put on a better show than I did. <laughs> got mud all over my glasses. Oh, we gotta move that, that's a terrible lie. Winter rules in Florida. <laughs> oh, stinger. That's gonna end up perfectly. Now stop. Stop. <laughs> well, I have been working on my game and my alignment is getting better, so my ball is moving forward and straight. So I will take it. Oh, that's looking good. That's it. All right, let's see if we can tap this in. I think this is for par? Yeah, par. Oh, wow. All right, we got a bogey there, but we got a couple of holes left that we're gonna play. I think we're gonna play, I don't know, what do you think, six holes? Or until we make a birdie? Hopefully. Yeah, well, <laughs> well if you make a birdie on this hole, we'll still keep on playing, because yes. we got some more clubs, but uh, we've got uh, we've passed those people, so we should be able to goof around a little bit more. Yeah. Ashley's going with the Speed LD, 313-yard yeah. par four. But I don't think I'm gonna take the, the direction you normally take over oh, the yeah, houses. Oh the, yeah, the line that I that normally one, take. Yeah. That would be fun to watch. <laughs> All right, let's see what Ashley could do. Well, I think that's what the sweet spot feels like, although I hope it does, because that felt pretty awesome. But as usual, I didn't leave John with the easiest of shots. He's you in the rough. The I hit it through the fairway. We were not expecting that one, but he's got about 160 yards left in. He's going with a six iron. 180. 180, he's going with a six iron. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it kicked up on the green. Woo. I don't hit these irons that far, but they are deadly accurate. I messed around with the uh, Strixon combo set. I think it was like the Z565s and the Z765s for a long time. And they went way further, but I just didn't hit them as close. So, I mean, I'd rather be further away and hit them closer than closer to the, you, yeah. know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Accuracy over distance, but we have another birdie opportunity. <laughs> This has been some great golf. Makes up for last time that we played. We didn't play very well, but let's see if the uh, world's greatest putter, see if the uh, course is recognized who you are and you get to, uh, you've been penalized. I don't know what happened with that yeah, last Yeah, that last one. one. I don't know. That needs to go. Oh man, I think that was good. We're struggling with the pace. They've been uh, mowing the greens a lot, yeah. a lot shorter, but uh, that's my putt, so. I think we, uh, the next hole is basically a carbon copy of this one, except less of a dramatic dog leg. We'll see if I can find that sweet spot. Oh, this is my putt. Oh, yep. It's just never a uh, sure thing. <laughs> yep, what I said. Hopefully I can find the sweet spot again. <laughs> stripe show. Absolute stripe show. Game changer this year. <laughs> this is easily the best golf that I've ever seen Ashley play, so I think we're gonna we're just gonna play nine holes, or until, until I stop playing. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a holiday. We got nothing else to do. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying this video. Hopefully, this uh, new year is better than last year. Ashley's golf game has certainly gotten better. Just in There's a uh, yeah, you flip the calendar, and Ashley's uh, the world's greatest driver of the golf ball now. <laughs> 
I think we got, it's right in the middle of the fairway. That's yeah. insane. 100 yards, this is gonna be fun. We could be a, a real team in the Dynamic scramble now. Duo. Dynamic <laughs> duo, yeah, for sure. All right, we got another look at birdie. That was a uh, 55 degree square strike. We still had these in the bag from the Christmas special that we did because it was green. It was green, but usually I use the uh, Kirkland signature wedges. I like those a lot. But when it's super wet out, I use the uh, square strikes because they have a really wide sole. So my super steep swing doesn't uh, get uh, a little chunky. But uh, Ashley for birdie, let's see if we can convert one. That's good, that's good. Oh man, I thought that was gonna break way more. All right, I think you're t you're leading off on the next hole too. All right, it's funny because I've been really working on my long game and now my putting is falling apart. Golf is such a strange sport. Oh, yeah, and John's your... getting distracted by fish. Right there, bluegill. There's him. a bass. We've got to come through here with the kayaks. You can put your kayak in like right over there. Yep. There's birds over there too. Nature. Nature. All right, next hole is 332 yards. Ashley, the driving machine. Oh, that's a pretty big bass. <laughs> Ashley, the driving machine is up next with the Speed LD. I still gotta hit my long irons and my uh, hybrid, and I still haven't told you what my three wood is now that I think about it. No, we forgot to. And Ashley hasn't hit an iron shot yet. <laughs> and I'm holding the camera over the water because there's like a, le like a pole here. This is great. Other than that. Is this good content? I'm gonna drive you guys all. You guys are all hanging over oh, the water. No. Don't it's a, fall. It's a stunt. <laughs> I'm gonna pan back so you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, you were over the water the entire time because I couldn't get it back over. And here's some birds. Nature! That one's weird. It's like a chocolate milk bird. Yeah. Huh. Welcome to Staff Golf. Yep. If, you're new. <laughs> if you guys are new here, subscribe. <laughs> that was a tight little draw. Well, this is turning into the I hit the drive, John hits the approach shot challenge, but we've got about 170 yards left in. John's going with the seven iron? Seven iron. Probably. Seven iron. Yeah. Onto a crazy green, which we'll show you in a second. Oh man, I barely carried. That's gonna be a fun putt. Yup. That was a terrible swing. I kind of quit on it and came over the top, but it was dead on line, which is improvement from my normal miss hits. But <laughs> Ashley, it's a two putter. Yes. It's definitely a two putter putt. It's, we'll show you when we get up there, but it is intense. You gotta go up like a 10 foot swale. Or I'll just show you now. You gotta go up like a 10 foot swale right there. Here, Ashley will walk down there. It's like the elevator. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's we'll see if the gator's there today. Uh, not seeing the gator. We gotta concentrate on this putt though. Oh, oh, I see you him. see him? Right there. Oh yeah, he's right there. Need the zoom camera. We brought the zoom camera, but it doesn't have any charge. Right there is the gator. A healthy looking fella. Uh -huh. But uh, let's see if we can't, oh, I gotta fix my ball mark here in a second, but let's see if Ashley, this is going uphill, breaking to the right and then left at the end. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> okay. I wish we were playing a scramble here. <laughs> that was very well done. I should have fixed the ball mark before, but... <laughs> I'm you, happy with that. Yeah, you basically put it over the ball yeah. mark. <laughs> All right, John's taking this one seriously. Getting it lined up. This one's gonna break like three feet. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, that's your putt. I get to uh, drive on the next one, a par five. Ashley's good on that one. Yeah. <sighs> I haven't hit a drive in forever. I'm <laughs> no, you're rusty. A <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. I just aim at the left-hand side of the fairway, swing as hard as I can, and it produces a nice little low fade every single time. Got about 180 yards left, but there's like a little gap in between the uh, fairway and the green, so I think it's good for, you haven't hit one of your irons yet. Yeah, I know. We've got, does it go up to six or seven? Seven should be fine, right? Is that yeah. what you wanna hit? Seven. Seven. Kanye. Seven. <laughs> that is going to end up perfect. We're gonna have like exactly, yeah, my, that rolled out. A little bit less than a hundred yards. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to say what iron it is. Oh yeah, because it's the first time I've hit it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Cobra Amp. We found these at a thrift store probably about mm -hmm. a month ago and yeah. it's a uh, light flex. They are a uh, men's length, but you hit them really good, so. Yeah. I don't know why, but I hit them really well, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Be good. Be good. Ooh. Oh. 
That might be a first for me. We spun the square strike off the grid. We were about 90 yards and it was into the wind, so it was like perfect conditions for a spin. We, uh, well, I used the uh, 55. The ball mark's only like 10 feet away from the hole, but Ashley's got a pretty difficult uh, little chip shot right here. What are you going with? Square strike. Square strike again. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be perfect. <laughs> we were debating whether we should land it on the yeah. green or uh, just in the fringe. I think you hit it too hard to uh, land it on the green yeah. and perfect for the fringe. That worked out pretty good. Yeah, just don't make up your mind. Let the uh, the ground make up the mind for you. <laughs> All right, I get to use my own putter. Nice. Oh, I did it on the last hole. It didn't result in a very good uh, result. I didn't want to laugh and throw you off. As I say every time, sign me up, NBC, world's best commentator. Yep, interesting. Keep people on their toes. Yep. <laughs> All right, two holes left, and the last thing I haven't hit yet is the Callaway Diablo Edge 5 Hybrid, which ironically is the perfect distance for this hole. It's 120 yards. Where did that draw come from? I don't know. <sighs> Square strike out of the bunker. <laughs> All right, well, apparently Ashley has a draw now, so that's a thing. It's pretty to watch, but uh, we are pretty much in the bunker. I'm going with the 60 degree square strike. Normally, like I said, I would use the uh, Kirkland signatures. I've been using those since uh, we first got them, yeah. and uh, they're still spinning the ball like crazy. That with the uh, Kirkland signature golf ball, incredible amount of spin. Yeah. Well, we just spun a square strike off the green on the last one, but let's see what we can do here. <laughs> a little bit to the left. That's good. Dead center. Wow, that broke like four different ways. My driving improves and the putting goes. Well, Ashley has uh, hit every single club in her bag and I've had a bunch of tap-ins. So <laughs> there's that. I think I still have three clubs to uh, hit, so we'll see if we... Uh... Oh, the three wood. I forgot. The three wood that I use is the uh, Bomb Tech yep. three wood. We bought those things as kind of a joke. Yeah. We, the video is titled like uh, Most Controversial Brand in Golf. And I ended up liking the driver, although the shaft is a little bit too whippy, but the three wood mm -hmm. is money. Although I chunked it in this video, but it did go dead straight. But you don't like three woods anyway, so it's yeah. an improvement. I can hit a V-Steel, the TaylorMade V-Steel, some Adams, and then this Bomb Tech. I hit the best out of all of them, but usually I just don't even carry a three wood because <laughs> the par fives that we play, especially the, we, the way that we play, I just hit a hybrid most of the time anyways, but that's also the other club that I haven't hit, but we might have that one left into the green, but Ashley's Depends driver. Where I go. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's driver has been money, so we'll probably have an iron left. And I haven't shown you the long irons either. You've hit every single one of your clubs. I haven't hit any of mine. This has been a very strange day. Yeah. I'm not complaining, but definitely This has been unique. like a, a two club challenge for me and an entire Ashley show. Whoa. Where'd the draw go? Bring it back. That was crushed though. <laughs> I was like 180, that might roll out to 200 yards. Uh, I think that definitely would have carried Ashley's famous bunker over at uh, Palm Harbor, but today we are playing at uh, Pine Lakes. I think we forgot to mention that. Yeah. It is a Arnold Palmer design. We've been liking it a lot. We got about 165 yards. Still don't get to hit any other clubs. Now I get to hit an iron. We'll just show you the rest of my clubs. <laughs> my favorite club in the bag, which I haven't hit yet today, is the uh, Nike VR Pro 2 Hybrid. We found this at a Goodwill in Jacksonville. It's got a Project X 6.0 shaft. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the feel of it. But it works. But I hit it like <laughs> dead straight every it. single time. And from like different lives and everything, it's just a really good, I don't even know if it's like rare or hard to find. Some of the Nike stuff gets like pretty expensive, yeah. like the uh, Vapor Pros and stuff, they're later models, but I definitely really like that one. And then what else did we show? Oh my, uh, the long irons, they yeah. play a hybrid set. The short irons are the MP67s like I showed you. And then the long irons, the three, four, and five are the Mizuno MX900s. These were actually my dad's clubs. Uh, the last ones that he used before we got him the, uh, the Adams clubs yeah. from that flea market that he really likes. But these are really good. They're super easy to hit. The, uh, when I bought the MP67s, they only came uh, six through pitching wedge. And then <laughs> I've always liked these. I've used the uh, three iron as a driving iron for a long time. So I just put the uh, three, four, and five in there. And uh, yeah, they've got the classic Mizuno feel. Not quite as soft because they got a little bit of technology going on in there, hollow hybrid hemi cog whatever that means but fancy. for a uh, you know big bulky iron they still feel really good i think that's it <laughs> and an orange whip which i should use more often <laughs> but uh we got 160 yards left and i'm going with the seven iron again so i've hit like two clubs the entire time <laughs> and it just destroyed that pine cone go 
I hit that one off the heel, but these things for being blades are pretty forgiving. That just like stayed day, dead straight. Dead that was straight. perfect uh, pace though. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go tap that in. I think we've shot like a true alternate shot. I think we shot one or two over par. It's pretty good. Yeah. These pants are so long. <laughs> Laundry day. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was graceful. Yeah, I said jumbo the bed. You literally belly flopped on there. Tater Todd's not sure if you're okay, but how you liking the uh, the bed? Is it as good as your quality of golf yesterday? Yeah. That, didn't <laughs> that really make... was really weird. Yeah, that was weird wording, but uh, that's what really you. Really good, especially for the price. Yeah, I think we spent two hundred and twenty dollars on it. We found a few on Amazon that are going for about the same price, but this one was eight inches and a queen. So this, I don't think we found anything close to that. So this might be the world's. Cheapest memory foam mattress. Let's see if Tater Tot approves of it. What do you think? Oh, he's like stuck and sunk. He's like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna, oh, I think he likes it. He is hard to impress. If you guys have watched the channel, you know he's hard to impress, but let's end off the video with reading some Instagram comments from uh, yesterday. We posted this, a screenshot from this video. We'll throw up a uh, screen grab of it here. Uh, when you realize, what was that? That one was really funny. When you realize it's actually December 32nd, 2020, that's a, glad it's not. Yes. Lots of uh, poop jokes and uh, Taco Bell. I always like those, but uh, what do you mean I can't hit full shots with a square strike? You did though. We did, we spun one off the yeah, green. that was great. Yeah, that was good. When you top the ball and it goes behind you. <laughs> you played really good yesterday with the, I don't, yeah. know, I don't know why that reminded me of you. Because I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> Uh, the smell of three putts. Yeah, that, that one's that for one's me for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of fart jokes, but uh, hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. We'll be back to our regular schedule of stuff, but with the holidays and the move. Yeah, and yeah, there's no garage sales out right now, but uh, we'll be back doing that stuff here shortly. But yeah. hopefully you guys did like this video. It'll be interesting to see how our bags change throughout the year. Yeah. And if Tater Stott. Tater Stott. <laughs> tater Schnott. Tater Tot <laughs> still likes the bed. But uh, you going to sign us out, Tater? Nope. No. All right. Uh -huh. But I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you did, like, run, subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Happy New Year.